Well, let's talk a little bit about immuno-oncology because, you know, for a long time I was feeling like we were left behind. It's been science that I've been working on for a long time. Um, and um, uh, we went, uh, actually the, the group out of Hopkins in a multidisciplinary or multi-center uh, study said, let's look at the MSI high tumors. There was lore, I think, really, that this might be uh, an attractive uh, target. Johanna, maybe you start on uh, the, the, the studies and the results, I think, at we're at in San Francisco at GI ASCO. So we're, I think one of the lead authors has three oral presentations yes. on using uh, <laughs> immuno-oncology uh, in, in GI cancer. So maybe kind of set the stage for, for our folks. Well, this was such impressive data that we saw where they looked at folks with MSI um, high colon cancer, but they also looked at MSI high other tumors, which I think we can get to mm. at, at another point, but I think this is all associated with the Lynch syndrome mm. um, uh, type uh, picture. But what they saw is when they gave checkpoint inhibitors, this was a PD-1 inhibitor, uh, to patients with MSI high colon cancer, they saw between a 60 to 70 percent response rate. I mean, p people were joking that this is like ALK for non-small cell lung cancer, and these responses were durable, even more importantly than that, giving folks uh, such a difference in terms of treatment options for their cancer. So has anybody found one of these patients and done this yet? Yeah. 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 So we were part of that study that mm -hmm. was published in the Journal of Medicine and actually I have a number of patients uh, on that uh, trial including, uh, I know this we're talking about colorectal, including a pancreas cancer right. patient who had a CR, mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing. I mean, you know, I've never seen a CR in pancreas cancer with just a single modality agent. So. It was, it, it, it was very impressive. I think, I think these, these effects are real, as Johanna alluded to, not just that you see a depth of response, but you see also those responses being durable. Uh, so very exciting time. Of course, there, were lim there are limitations to this, to this study. There is no randomized portion. Do you need uh, one? Um, you know, uh, yes and no. Uh, it's exciting as it is, but yes, you do. So I think that, look, that the study that's being done basically is frontline metastatic colon, single agent uh, The patients checkpoint. have failed. No, there's a frontline study of oh, no, no, I'm sorry, so, so yes, a study is. Versus single agent checkpoint, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. a study is ongoing. I, but yeah, so, so, but this was a refractory, mm -hmm. and, and, and again, the effect is likely to hold, but you'd like to, to have some control uh, over the set. Charlie. Yeah, it's really exciting and uh, it's obviously real. The one caveat, and maybe Tony, you can help me, is that when I read the paper, I notice that in the colon patients, virtually all, or almost all of the patients with MSI had Lynch syndrome, mm -hmm. realizing that, mm -hmm. you know, in our practice, oftentimes the patients with microsatellite instability don't have familial colon cancer, they yeah. just have it sporadically. And, and just for our audience, that uh, my number in my head is I say, oh, maybe 15% are MSI high with 5% of those having Lynch and 10 having acquired. Is that a rough right. number that people yeah. use? About right. So, you, so you'd get MSI high back, some of whom have Lynch, some of whom don't. So sorry, Chad. Yeah, so I'm just curious, is this a Lynch phenomenon or is this really an MSI phenomenon? And, and I think that's, a, that's again, that's where the, the question uh, lies. You know, it, it could be certainly a Lynch phenomenon. Uh, uh, you know, but, but there's a there's a good rationale to think about it as just an MSI, a non-Lynch phenomenon, because of the presence of, as you said, multiple mutations that expose these cells, you know, to benefits from uh, uh, from these immune-directed therapies. So I think again, those numbers were relatively small, and we're still dealing with only four to five percent of all our colorectal cancer patients, and even lesser when you go to non-colorectal cancer patients. Uh, so a lot of these confirmatory studies are underway, and I think we'll have more data, but. As Johanna said, I mean, this was like an ALK effect. I mean, you don't see these responses, the depth of response and the, and the durability of these responses, unless you have a real drug that's actually working yeah. uh, in such a significant so, way. So measure this, you do MSI testing on patients, and then when they come back positive, find a trial, um, get compassionate use, is this, is this the message out there? Yeah. And there are a lot of trials, everybody here got one yeah. open right. uh, that you could more put, than put one. more than <laughs> one open. <laughs> it's a fascinating world, there's a space race, more yes. than one, and more slots one. And, and different drugs and different combinations being tested. So uh, the message out here I think is that there is access. You yes. can get it 
Um, so it's not a just make believe, um, there but, are no trials. And I'm sure you're hearing this too. The, I'm hearing about patients who are getting compassionate release mm -hmm. right. of the yeah. drugs who are MSI high, and I, I perhaps the payers are paying for it, I don't know, but I'm certainly hearing about it. No, I think yeah. that's true. Yeah. I actually have three patients that we did because we had a trial that we were in, in between and they were able to get compassionate yeah. use. Yeah. Richard? No, same, I think uh, we do have several trials. I think there are probably more trials than the patient right now, currently at this time. <laughs> but. Um, um, I think, and we could definitely, I've gotten one or two patients on compassion use as well. So a patient with colon cancer, we test for MSI. In case if they're MSI high, we could offer them uh, th offer the therapy off or on label. Patient on first or second line therapy, you don't have enough tissue to do this. Pause, do a biopsy, send it. I think we, we need to know the need to know. genetics of these this two. This is yes. a need to know, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yes. I just want to be, be clear. All right.